I received a question and it is a good question to speak about and I don't want that person to feel like I am being mean to them or anything like that or I am trying to make them look bad but I believe I received a question telling me something like, is it a sin to do exercises to make your butt bigger? Okay. You see, some things on paper I guess I can say, may not be a sin. So some things may not be a sin, but the reasoning behind it may be a sin. So me going to a beach may not be a sin, but if seeing a woman in a two-piece or women in two-pieces you know, like I am going to the beach to look at women in a bad way. Now, that is a sin, right? So if me going to a beach is going to make me lust after women, then I should not go to the beach. So going to the beach is wrong for me. Okay, to go back to the question, is it wrong? for, I guess, a woman to do exercises to make your butt bigger. Now, what is your intention for doing so? Are you doing it for wrong attention? Are you doing it to get men to desire you? Like, hey, that woman has a big old behind. Are you doing it for the wrong type of attention? For instance, I believe there are some women who want breast implants. Why are you doing it for? Are you doing it to get men to look at you in like a sexualized way. I think there are some women that get their breast implants very large. Like, what is your attention? Listen now. I may be wrong about this, but back in the past, I don't think our cultures were as sexualized as it is now. And back in the past, I don't think breast implants or butt implants or like the fascination of the butt is as large as it is now. I believe we live in a very sexualized culture. I believe there are celebrities out there that get their breasts done and their behind done and I think many of them wear really tight clothing. I believe there are many people who follow celebrities, celebrities so much. Okay. Now, why is the celebrity getting breast and butt implants or whatever else like that or trying to make their breast look bigger and all this stuff here? I think many of them are doing it for the wrong reasons. So something on paper, something may not be a sin but why are you doing it? 
if I am doing something for a wrong reason, then that wrong reason is a sin. So if you are getting breast implants or butt implants or doing something, like why, why does it have to be a sexual place? Why does it have to be the breast? Why does it have to be the butt? Why does it have to be a sexual place? Why can't it be the nose? which I believe some people do. Why not, like, why not mostly the ears and the nose and I guess the forehead or whatever else? Why does it have to be a sexual area? Now, is there a chance that someone may get a breast implant or breast implants or butt implants for a medical reason, maybe so. But I think as a whole, don't get any breast implants. Don't get any butt implants. Don't do things to make your butt bigger because I think, hey, I can be wrong, but I believe a person doing that, I think, honestly, I think that is a sign that something else larger is wrong in that person's life. Like, if you see one roach in your house, I believe that is a sign that there are many more. So, I think you wanting breast implants or a butt implant, or trying to do something to make your butt bigger, I think that is one roach. If you understand what I am trying to say, I believe that is a sign that something else is larger, something larger. I believe that is a sign something larger in your life is a problem if i am saying that right <laughs> so stay away from it look now i think many people copy each other if you claim to be christian yes we live in the world but I believe we should not be of the world. I may be living in this world now, but I should live separately from the world. So I should not be like the world, if you understand what I am trying to say to you. Like, people should be able to tell I guess I can say that I am a Christian. Like there should be a difference. Maybe in the way I act, probably in the way I look as well. Not saying that all Christians wear suits and ties and dresses all the way down to their feet. But if, if I get ear piercings all up my ear and in my nose and on my tongue and my eyes got piercings and a tattoo right here on my face on my cheek and I have a shirt on saying I love God now how would that look or let's say there's a woman wearing a really tight thing, got her breast pushed up and pushed out, wearing really tight pants, leggings, and showing the imprint of her breast and her behind, showing that she's wearing a thong and she going around teaching the gospel. How, man, how awful is that? 
we live in the world, but we should not look like the world. If your breasts are sagging, so what? If your behind is sagging, so what? Like, why are you trying to prop them up? Like, what is the purpose? For attention? Hey, that woman sure has some perked up breast. Like, why? Oh, my Lord. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? I believe if you open a door like that, worse things will enter. And I believe that is a sign that there are other things wrong with that person. Because now, I am not saying that all Christians do everything right. But I believe a true Christian won't really worry about how perky her breasts look. Like, what are, what are you thinking about? Or how her behind looks. That's carnality. Now, you know, if a person wants to lose weight because they want to be more healthy or they want to be able to move around better, uh, great. But you want to work on your sexual area for some, like, what's really going on, honestly? If you want to work out because you want to get stronger, great. Like, Kevin, I want to have... You know, I want to work out so I will have more endurance. Great. But if you want to work out because you want to wear tight clothing and wear have for men and women, you want to show your body off. I believe that is wrong. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense. Unless you have a really bad medical issue. Okay, I may be able to understand why you want to work on your breast or your behind. Medical issue. But I believe many people don't have that. I think many people have this thing. They want attention for the wrong reasons. Let me stop here. God bless you.